The internet, a vast digital landscape connecting billions of people across the globe, began as a small and experimental project over half a century ago. This is the thrilling story of how the internet got started, revolutionizing the way we live, work, and communicate. Our story begins in the early 1960s, during the height of the Cold War. The United States Department of Defense was searching for a way to create a communication network that could survive a nuclear attack. The solution? A decentralized network that could reroute connections if part of it were destroyed. This idea laid the foundation for what would become ARPANET, the first operational packet switching network. In 1969, ARPANET was born. The first message was sent between two computers at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, and the Stanford Research Institute. It was a simple hello, an attempt to send the word Logan, but the system crashed after just two letters. Little did they know, this humble beginning was the start of something monumental. Throughout the 1970s, ARPANET grew steadily, connecting more universities and research institutions. In 1971, Ray Tomlinson invented email, allowing users to send messages across the network. This was a revolutionary step in digital communication, paving the way for the interconnected world we know today. 1971 also saw the introduction of the first network protocol, the Network Control Protocol, NCP, which allowed different computers to communicate with each other. This was crucial in enabling a standardized method for data transmission. The challenge now was to find a way to connect these disparate networks. Enter Vin Kerf and Bob Kahn, the fathers of the internet. In 1974, they proposed the Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, and the Internet Protocol, IP, creating a common language for all networks to communicate. In 1983, ARPANET officially switched to using TCP IP, marking the true birth of the modern internet. This transition allowed various networks to interconnect seamlessly, forming the basis of the global internet. The 1980s saw rapid growth in internet usage, particularly within academic circles. In 1986, the National Science Foundation, or NSF, launched NSFNet, a nationwide backbone connecting supercomputing centers across the United States. This network was much faster and more robust than ARPANET, and it quickly became the backbone of the internet. As we moved into the 1990s, a British scientist named Tim Berners-Lee introduced a game-changing invention, the World Wide Web. In 1990, he created the first web browser and web server, enabling users to navigate the internet through hyperlinks and multimedia. The web transformed the internet from a tool for academics and researchers into a platform accessible to anyone with a computer. The mid-1990s witnessed an internet boom. Companies like Netscape introduced user-friendly web browsers and websites like Yahoo, Amazon and eBay began to emerge. Internet service providers or ISPs like AOL made it easier for households to get online, leading to a surge in internet users worldwide. By 1995, the internet had become a commercial powerhouse The mid-1990s witnessed an internet boom. Companies like Netscape introduced user-friendly web browsers and websites like Yahoo, Amazon and eBay began to emerge. Internet service providers or ISPs like AOL made it easier for households to get online, leading to a surge in internet users worldwide. By 1995, 
the internet had become a commercial powerhouse. Netscape's IPO marked the beginning of the dot-com boom as investors poured money into internet startups. This era saw the rise of iconic companies like Google, which revolutionized search engines and information retrieval. However, the rapid growth also led to the infamous dot-com bubble. In 2000, the bubble burst, leading to the collapse of many internet companies. Despite this setback, the internet continued to evolve. Driven by the emergence of broadband connections, and the proliferation of personal computers. In 2004, a young entrepreneur named Mark Zuckerberg launched Facebook from his college dorm room. This marked the beginning of the social media revolution, connecting people in ways never before imagined. Platforms like YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram soon followed, changing how we share and consume information. The late 2000s and early 2010s brought another transformative change, the rise of smartphones. With the launch of the iPhone in 2007, mobile internet became accessible to millions. Apps, social media, and instant communication became an integral part of daily life, further embedding the internet into our everyday routines. By 2014, the number of internet users surpassed 3 billion, nearly half, the world's population. The internet had become a vital tool for education, commerce, entertainment, and social interaction. Today, the internet continues to grow and evolve. The advent of the Internet of Things, or IoT, connects everyday devices, artificial intelligence, or AI, enhances our digital experiences and cloud computing offers unprecedented storage and processing power. The internet is now an indispensable part of modern life, shaping our world in ways we couldn't have imagined just a few decades ago. From its humble beginnings as a Cold War project to the vast global network it is today, the internet has revolutionized the way we live, work and connect with each other. As we look to the future, one thing is certain, the story of the internet is far from over. Stay tuned for the next chapter in this incredible journey. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating stories.